Hello everyone. Have you ever visited another company's or site's dashboard to find that they have all of these cool, unique, interesting tool tips that appear when you hover over an image or a button? Wondering how you can add these to enhance your reports and dashboards? Stay tuned and find out in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. So what I want to talk to you about and show you today is how to create tool tips that you can use on buttons or images. So in my previous video, I showed you how to create a tooltip, but using the new uh, visualization features in pain and the on object interaction that just was released in the March 2023 update of Power BI. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can add tooltips to your buttons and images as well. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of us here at Pragmatic Works. But let's go ahead, let's get to it, let's jump into the Power BI desktop. All right, so here is a report I have set up, just a simple report using that AdventureWorks data set that we all know and love. And so as you can see, if I hover over the sales amount by year column chart, I already have one tool tip, tool tip excuse me, set up that we can see here as well. But I know that with this report page, I would like to add in a couple of images up here at the top next to the title text box. So I'm going to start by doing that now. I'm going to go to the insert tab at the top and over here I'm going to first add a just a simple info button here. And so I'm going to select this here from the buttons section in the elements group here. I'm just going to drag this, resize this box a little and get this info button uh, just kind of set up. There we go. That works for now. All right, we'll leave it. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I also want to add an image over here. And the image I want to add is just going to be a, a map of the United States. Um, and it's going to be an icon that I found from uh, Flat Icon, and I will link that in the description below, as well as the uh, creator of the icon, which was FreePick. So that information will all be linked below. But I'm gonna select image here now to add this in to my report here. And I'm gonna select this uh, PNG image that I have here. All right, so now I'm going to resize this a bit and we'll just add that there and leave that for now. All right, so we've got those images added in. Now, in order to add a tooltip to a button or an image, if you are trying just to add a text tooltip, you just want some text to appear here, some instructions or a little bit more information, you can easily do that by selecting the button or image over here uh, in the action section. Uh, we can toggle this on. And then here in the tooltip section, I can put the text in here that I would like. So I will go ahead here. I'm going to just drop in some text copy and paste over that I already have, and we can drop that in here as well. Now, you'll notice we can't really see it, so uh, you wanna make sure you have it uh, typed out previously. That way you can check for grammar, spelling, anything like that. Hopefully I don't have any in there now. Um, and then as you hover, you'll see it appear. Now, the only issue with doing a tooltip this way directly on the object itself, this button or image, if it were, um, we cannot format it the way we can if we were to format this as a report page tooltip and then connect it. So that's what's slightly different by setting this up and creating that 
a tooltip on a separate report page and linking it back to the image. So I'm going to show you how we do that now uh, by creating a couple of things. So again, I'll show here if we select the image, we have that tooltip section, but I can't go in and add a visual tooltip like I have here on the sales amount by year visual. So what we can do, first, let's go ahead and create the tooltip that we wanna connect here. So I'm gonna add in a new page down here at the bottom to create this new tooltip. I'm gonna rename this tooltip here, this page, excuse me, to my tooltip map. And then I'm going to hide the page since I will not need it for my report user. They don't need to see it. You always wanna hide your tooltip page as a best practice. So the next thing that we're gonna do is tell Power BI to treat this as a tooltip page. So over here in the format pane, if I expand page information, you'll see the page name and then the page type. We wanna go ahead and change that from standard to tooltip. You'll notice that it's immediately gonna shrink down, which is great, but we want to make sure that this is a little bit bigger so that it's easier for us to see the visuals that we add and um, that it's effective. So I'm now going to collapse page information and I'm going to expand canvas settings. And here where we see the tooltip type, we can select the drop down here and change this to custom. And I'm going to leave the height, but I'm going to increase the width here to uh, 450. So we'll start there. We may have to come back and modify this, so we will see. But now let's go ahead, let's add in our visual here. So with those new updates to the visualizations pane and features and the new on object interaction, we can just right click our report canvas and select add visual. So now you can see my uh, visual template is here. Let's go ahead and add in for this one. I think I would like to add in a donut chart. So I'm going to pull in a donut chart and then down here at the bottom, I'm going to select add data. Now I'm going to pull in the sales amount from internet sales. And I'm also going to pull in the country from sales territory. Now I can see that this automatically uh, changed because I've suggested type turn on. So I'm gonna toggle that off and I'm gonna turn it back to a donut. All right, so now we can see the country is in the legend and sales amount is in values, which is perfect. Oh wow, and that actually worked out perfectly. So now we have this visual here, this report page that we've set up our donut chart with the sales amount and country data. Now in order to connect this to our map, what we have to do, and I'm gonna go back to that page now, is we have to put a visual over this that's gonna allow us to connect the tooltip. So the way that we are gonna do this is we are going to add a card visual right on top of the map. And in this card, we are gonna add a measure. So we're gonna create a measure now. I'm gonna open my data pane. And we can create this measure wherever because uh, it's just gonna be a blank one used to kind of pull in that tooltip page. So I'm gonna right click on the sales territory table and select new measure. And then here in the formula bar, I'm going to uh, rename my tooltip here, or excuse me, my measure to my tooltip map. And we are going to insert a quotations and then some blank spaces. Doesn't matter how many, you really should just insert one. And then uh, that's all we really need. You could insert um, some comments here um, in case someone else is inheriting this report from you later and you want them to understand what you did here. So you can say use for a map image, something like that. Just hit enter. And now let's click back into our report. So now we can see that measure has been created and added. Now we need to insert our card over the map. So I'm gonna bring in a card visual 
and I'm going to drag this over to my map and I'm going to make it a bit smaller, try and make it about the same size as my map visual. Um, there we go. And I'm going to plop it right on top. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to drag the uh, tooltip map measure into that card visual. And then what we're going to do is we're going to format this. So I'm going to jump over here now to the format pane. And there's a couple of things I want to do. Notice the category label is on. We can't really see it right now. I could if I expand. There it is. Uh, we want to toggle that off. Oops, and I, there we go. So we'll turn off the category label. And the next thing we want to do here is we want to get rid of the background so that uh, we can see our map image clearly. So we're just going to go into size and style in the visual section and toggle off background. All right, we are almost done here. Now the final thing we have to do is going to be in the property section. We want to toggle on the tooltips and expand the tooltip section. And here we can see the type of tooltip we want is a report page, not the default. And where it says auto, we now want to bring in the tooltip report page we created, which is that tooltip map. I'm going to select that and then now watch as I hover over this image. We will now see the uh, report page tooltip we created using that donut chart visual. And so we can also go in and do the same thing here. We can create a, another a tooltip page if we wanted and just insert um, a text box there. And then we could format the text how we wanted it to appear and then do the same thing, link it back here. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this helpful in uh, creating custom tooltips to use for your report pages. And this is going to be part of a series. So I'm going to have more videos coming out on custom tooltips and how you can use them in your reports to uh, make them more fun, interactive, and creative. So uh, come back and check out my next video. Also, let me know in the comments if there is anything else that you are wanting to see with tooltips. I am happy to create videos on that. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all of the videos that we post here at Pragmatic Works. If you're looking for more content outside of our YouTube channel, um, be sure to check out the link in the description below to gain access to our on-demand learning system, where you can find courses on Azure, Power Automate, Power Apps, DAX, and more. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.